Welcome to Airstream. My name is Justin Humphreys, Vice President of Sales. And boy, do I have a treat for you today. Uh, we're coming to you from our brand new training center in Jackson Center, Ohio. Built a whole new factory here. Uh, big things happening at Airstream and big news, a brand new product, uh, fresh to the market, something that we've been working on for some time. And I couldn't be more thrilled to walk you through the Interstate X. This is an unbelievable van that will take you on ventures where you could have never gone before in an Airstream. Right away, you're gonna notice it's a very rugged looking van. Floodlights up top, the racking, the bigger knobbier tires. This is a four by four van that's gonna get you into places you weren't able to get to before. So why Interstate X? Um, what part of the market are we trying to serve? Well, van life has become extremely popular in North America. And part of that van life is this adventure series, something to get you off the road. And although our interstate has been one of the best selling sprinter based RV products in, in the country, um, it is a very high end uh, product. So if you were gonna take it hunting, fishing, hiking, you know, whatever um, your lifestyle, whatever your hobby is, uh, sometimes it's almost too nice. So we really wanted something that was understated but rugged. You didn't feel like uh, you had to really keep a watchful eye on it, that you could put your gear in it, that you could take it to places you can't take the interstate. And I think our designers just absolutely hit a home run with this product. Right away, you're gonna see a heavy bottom. And a couple things I like about this. Number one, I love the balance it gives it. It kind of gives it that heaviness um, down low. So from a design element, I think it looks great. But really from a functional element, it's outstanding is you're gonna spray up rocks and debris up here. Uh, they, they put this in uh, the beds of trucks for a reason. It, it really withstands wear and tear nicely. So over time, you'll protect your van. So giving it that consistent black look, but then also that durability um, down below. Look at the, the step well here. Now on the interstate, we have the electric step that comes out. Uh, this is something much more rugged, much more substantial, goes across the entire campsite side of the rig. Um, fantastic, powder coated, it's gonna take a beating. Um, we don't have a lot of electrical components on this. You're actually gonna notice we're, we've dummied that part down a bit. When you're off the grid, you really need to be efficient on your electrical draws and moving parts and pieces. So where we can, uh, we add some utility to the ruggedness of this, but we're using the best components. Mercedes-Benz is the highlight of this vehicle, clearly. Um, the entire structure of this van is built by Mercedes-Benz. We then add all these elements to the outside and on the inside. So a few things up front here that I wanted to point out. Uh, first, the attractive LED uh, headlights. It's an aesthetic, uh, pleasing design. It's got an aggressive look, but it is fantastic. This will really light up the road. So as you take this off road, you're in country roads, you try not to hit deer. This is really a safety feature as it lights up the entire uh, roadway. Uh, you'll also notice down here, you can barely see it, but there's these little sensors in the bumper. Just like our other interstate products, this has parking sensors. So you're getting out into the woods, you're trying to park this thing close to a tree, you don't know exactly how close you are. This is gonna give you that extra bit of safety to make sure you're not hitting that tree. And those sensors are also available in standard on the, uh, on the back bumper. So um, that comes standard equipment with the, with the Interstate X. Um, and then down here, we add this tooled piece similar to our other Interstate models, except the X, it's, it's painted black to match in with this whole design cube. So you're out in the bush, you need to clean your windshield. Mercedes offers this step here so that you can reach um, some areas on the top forehead of the van or the windshield in itself. So this is a three liter diesel four by four uh, van. Uh, the, the diesel engine's super efficient. It's uh, very clean emission uh, diesel. It's clean diesel and gets great fuel economy. So when you get out on the road, you're looking at 16 to 18 miles per gallon. It's a fantastic engine, tried and true Mercedes-Benz technology. Uh, they do a great job with it. So uh, if you were here, I would share this with you, but if you look into the windshield, you can see these little lines. What are those little lines? It's a heating element. 
So this actually has the winter package. And you know, if you like to ski, this is a great unit to take skiing. It's a, it, you can really heat this whole van up. Um, and it's, it's, built, it's four by four, it can, it can uh, really tackle the mountains, but it also has a heated windshield. So if it is snowing or icing, you can knock that off. And it's also uh, convenient in the summer. So if it gets a little foggy, um, it'll knock that off too. So it's not only a safety feature, uh, and, but a convenience feature as well. And that also includes a heated steering wheel and heated seats. So uh, coming down the side, uh, you'll notice, uh, if you look closely, we actually have a camera in our side view mirrors. And I really like that feature because as you're driving this van down the road and you're changing lanes on a highway, you really want to know that nobody's there. And you know, it can be a little intimidating with a 24 foot van looking down the side of the coach. This makes it incredibly easy. It's a big safety feature for us. As soon as you hit your blinker, the monitor uh, will change and you can see down the entire side to make sure it's clear so that you can change lanes. And um, one thing I'd like to point out is the fuel fill. So yeah, it's a big rig. How am I gonna maneuver this into a fuel a gas station? Well, it's really easy. It's right next to the driver's door. It's in this um, compartment here. So you know if, if you park next to the fuel fill, you're fine, the hose will, will reach you. This, you actually have to open the door to get to it, which is nice so it stays locked and then it gets diesel fuel. So really uh, easy to, to get to the pump at the gas station on a big uh, motor home such as this. Coming down the side, this is really where a lot of your utilities are gonna be located. And a few things that we've done differently. So there are some adventure vans out there, what I would consider adventure vans, rugged vans. And you'll see a great big box on the sidewall. And that box is a cassette toilet. Uh, we do not do that here at Airstream. Ours is gonna be similar to our other products. It's in a tank and it's a macerator tank down here. What that does, it's more like a garbage disposal. It's gonna chop up the contents of that black tank and then it has a pump. It's gonna pump that out. So it's really easy. You don't have to rely on gravity to dump the tank. You'll see the racking um, up on top and it also gives a great design element uh, to boot. And also notice where we do have utilities on the side, we try to match the color that it's in. The, the power plug's the same way, this is black. Uh, it's a smart plug, this is a fantastic upgraded plug that we're using. It really gives a good indication if you're plugged in. And some additional solar ports out here. Um, yep, you're not always under the sun, so you can actually move some portable solar panels to charge your lithium batteries. And one other last thing to point out is the exhaust for the generators. If you've noticed on our interstate models, they're chrome to match the chrome design. These are blacked out to match the black design. So it's very intentional and something that we do here at Airstream and we think about. The back of the coach. This is gonna be the most functional area that we've had in a, in a van uh, for some time. There's several things here to point out. Um, first off, you'll notice two cameras. One camera is with Mercedes Benz and ties to their infotainment center. It will do a 360 view of the coach so you can see everything around you. It's pretty, pretty impressive. Um, the second is a camera that we've added and it ties to your rear view mirror area where we replace the mirror with a monitor. And it's very natural when you're driving down the road to look at that area, just like when you're driving your car to see what's behind you. So we like to add that feature as well. Notice the floodlights. I mean, this is gonna be outstanding. You get to the, uh, into the woods, you're ready to unload your gear, get camp set up. You're really gonna be able to see things with these floodlights. And you'll notice the sensors in here. These are the parking sensors we talked about up front. We also have them on the rear bumper. And the hitch. Now this is gonna be a little different than our interstate models that we actually mold out an entire fiberglass casing and, and door that, that hides that away. The whole point of this thing is to bring your toys with you and to get out and do stuff. So we've exposed the hitch on this. It kind of lends to the utility of this van. And uh, it's 5,000 pounds you can bring even more stuff with you, um, a trailer, some quads, whatever you like. Now, uh, this is a really important part of the rig too, because this is where you're gonna be getting your gear in and out. So let me show you a little bit more about these doors. So right away, you're gonna notice the massive amount of storage here where you can have kayaks. It goes all the way to the front. 
where a lot of manufacturers just give you a little area in the back. We're trying to open this entire space from front to back, back to front, kayaks, fishing poles, bicycles, you name it, uh, you could fit it in here. It's a tremendous amount of storage. And you'll notice that there's racking on the wall as well. So you could actually uh, rack some um, bikes or some other equipment um, to the wall. Those same, that same racking system's on the floor. So you can tie down that expensive uh, adventure equipment that you're gonna take on the road with you. So tons of options. There's actually four of these rails on the floor, four of them on the sidewalls. Um, we're certain you're gonna find a configuration that you can customize to yourself. You'll also notice back here that there's a, um, a connection point for an exterior shower. So you need to clean off your gear, you need to clean off your dog, you need to clean off yourself. You've got it right here to keep things clean. And then we have two types of uh, outlets here. We have a 110, like your home outlet, and then we have a 12 volt, kind of like your car, cigarette lighter. And you got the docking lights. So this whole time that you're operating the rig, uh, it's gonna be well lit in the back. I mean, it is really, really bright. Another thing, we, we recognize that people are gonna wanna keep these doors open. So we actually have a screen that'll come down that'll keep the bugs out, but allow the cross breeze to go in. So that's nice. Um, but then also we've added a bracket to help keep those doors ajar. You place that in. So, you know, that keeps the wind from closing it shut while you're in here working and grabbing your gear. So really smart area. I love what the designers have done. And then last, but certainly not least, we've added speakers to the door. They're called Resonato speakers. They got an incredible sound system. So if you're out having fun and, and enjoying your adventure, you can also play your music. It's all tied into Bluetooth. Uh, really, really great space back here uh, to use. Now we're into the campsite side. So now we're gonna set up camp. Uh, we have an awning. I'm gonna share with you how that works. And then we also have some other utilities here that I think are worth pointing out. Uh, the first one right here, and it's blended in, this is actually a metal box, but this is where you fill up your LP tank. This is also a quick connect for a, a grill. So you can cook out here. Uh, next to it, you have another solar port in case the sun's on this side during the day, you can move. And then you also have um, 110 outlets. So if you had something else you needed a you needed to plug in here while you're camping or tailgating or whatever else you're doing, uh, you have it. So the uh, again, the floodlights also come on this side as well. Um, so if you need to light up this area, it really will at night, it's fantastic. Then you also have the, uh, the awning. Now, a few things I like about this awning in particular, you'll notice the lights. So if you're out camping in the woods, you know, a lot of RVs have that great big white light on the side of the unit, it's just gonna blast everything. But if you really want her outside, just entertaining, winding down for the evening, these LED lights are a really great uh, addition. Um, in addition to that, we have a seismic sensor on it. So it'll actually sense if wind comes up. So if you walk away from the coach and the awning's out, It'll, it'll recognize that the winds um, come up and it will bring it in. So it'll save you a lot of time and money by protecting the awning. Uh, the other thing that I do like is the undercarriage light. Um, that combined with the LED lights in the awning really makes for a nice ambiance at night when you're just out resting from a long day of adventures. Um, you'll notice this metal racking system here. This is for a table. So as you're entertaining, out here, you can place the table down, um, you can serve food, whatever you, you like to do, it gives you a workspace as well. And then you can do all that while keeping the bugs out. So you close that, you've got a completely screened in door here to keep the bugs out, but allow the cross breeze in, and it really makes for a solid campsite area. So that is the outside of the Interstate X. I know I'm impressed, I hope you are as well. I think you're gonna be even more impressed on what this can do for you on the inside. So let's go check that out. Okay, let's start off in the driver's cockpit area of this Interstate X. There's a ton to cover in, in this uh, portion of the vehicle. And we're gonna try to cover the highlights um, here. So as I mentioned earlier, this is a commercial van. Sprinter has been out for many years. And a couple years ago, they really took the next step 
and adding a lot of their car features into the Sprinter model. And it's just been a huge game changer for us. We've included the many options you can get. Like I mentioned before, they might not put adaptive cruise control on a unit for a commercial application that's going 10 miles each way every day on back roads, right? You might not always need that. So a lot of these features are things that we select from Mercedes-Benz that other manufacturers don't. But right away, just the, the tactile, the feel, the, the, the leather wrapped steering wheel and the incredible technology in the dash, you can tell that they've really put a lot of their technology into this van and it's incredibly comfortable. A couple things I'd like to point out here, and again, it goes to that whole safety conversation that I started um, earlier. Uh, everything is at your fingertips, but right here on our controls, I can control the phone, I can control the radio, I can go through um, this entire screen on one side, and then all of my diagnostics on the other. So they have done a great job of keeping your hands on the wheel. And if I need to change something on the radio, all I gotta do is ask. This thing is really smart. So for example, um, if you wanna change something, you say, Mercedes. How may I help you? Navigation, please. And it takes you right to navigation. Now, by voice activation, I can then enter the address. I can change all kinds of things just by voice activation. Again, keeping your hands on the wheel, your eyes on the road, talking like she's here, your assistant uh, trying to help you out. A few other things to point out here. You know, we have a power door. We, 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 we reviewed that on the outside. You could actually open that door right here with a push of a button. So if you realize the door's open, instead of, instead of having to get up and close that, it's right here. Tons of cup holders. You have two on the interior for the driver, two for the passenger. You've got two more up here in the dash on each side. That's four total in the dash, four total down here. That's eight. And then you have a large one inside the door. Not only is that good for drinks, but also snacks and other things. Uh, as I mentioned, the Interstate X is only available in 4x4. So this is a true 4x4. It's not all wheel drive. This is full activation um, all the way around. And you know, it's two tires in the back, so there's actually six tires on board. You just hit this button here and it will activate into four wheel drive. So you have warnings here for awnings if they're out or if there's other things going on, it'll give you travel warnings as well. So another nice thing about what I like Airstream has done is I'm a pretty tall guy, I'm six foot three, and a lot of RV manufacturers will build a uh, ceiling here so they can put storage. And that added storage is nice, but you really feel claustrophobic. Look how open this cockpit area is. Gives me a lot of headroom. I don't feel claustrophobic. It feels open. If people are behind me, I can see them. And if you've ever owned an RV, it becomes a head knocker. So when you're trying to get up and go to the back of the RV, it's a, it's a place where you're gonna hit your head. You're not gonna have that problem uh, with this Airstream Interstate X. A Couple other things I wanna point out up front here um, is the mats. We've actually optioned on the Interstate 24X, these added rubber mats that you can get really dirty, easy to clean. On our normal Interstate models, the 24 GT, GL, and the 19, they all have carpeted, um, custom carpet pieces, a little more plush. Uh, this, obviously, we're expecting you to be out and about in rugged conditions, so I thought that was a really good thing to point out. And then the tons of storage. You have storage here in front of the passenger, See, and then also, you know, you have the sun visors up top, which is great, blocks the sun, also has a mirror, but on top of it is some added storage. So if you have some manuals you want to put up there, some sunglasses, whatever you need, you can toss them up there and they, they're out of the way. So that's fantastic. I had mentioned uh, on the outside that there are two cameras. So on the Mercedes-Benz camera, it will come up onto the screen. On the Airstream camera, it's up here in the monitor that we've placed in the rear view mirror position. Again, very natural place. When you're driving down the road to see behind you, you're gonna look here and your eyes go from straight forward to that portion right there. Our competitors aren't doing that. They're relying on the in-dash system. So as you're driving down the road, you're having to look behind you by looking down. It's not really natural. So we like this. We think it's a safety feature. It's a comfort and convenience uh, feature as well. So something definitely to highlight there. Tons of stuff up front here, um, almost too much to really talk about. I talked about the heated uh, seats, which is really a nice comfort. And, and the feel of these seats is just phenomenal. This is an ultra leather product. 
It's uh, unlike leather, you don't have to maintain it, but it has a real soft touch to it, but super durable, stain resistant. The, this material is being used in yachts, marine industry, automotive industry, really adds a nice detail. And then we've added the nice red accents into the black, which uh, really, really is striking on this particular uh, coach. Okay, so now you've noticed I've swiveled the chairs around. This becomes part of the living area when you're camping, uh, when you're out uh, uh, enjoying the great outdoors. Uh, and these seats are powered, um, which is fantastic and a nice feature. And, and one thing to keep in mind, you know, as we transition from the front of the coach to the house portion, we've now got a second radio. Um, we added that because otherwise you would have to start the van just to, just to listen to music. So. We've added a radio up top here. People ask, hey, you have two, two radios. Well, this is for the house portion. This is when you're driving down below. Uh, another great uh, feature about this van, this Interstate X, 24X, is the flexibility of it. I had showed you on the outside the racking system for a table. The same racking system is here. Um, and you can actually place a table here as well, as well as the outside portion, and then in the back. So if you wanna eat at the bench seating back there, very flexible wherever you need the table. But if you're gonna use this as like a traveling office, hey, sometimes we gotta be connected, right? We have to stay connected on the road and we're having a little fun, but we've also gotta pay the bills and log in and make sure we do a little work. You can do that really easily here. In fact, there's 110 outlets down here to plug your laptop in and there's USB port to charge your mobile devices. Now you'll notice um, on this coach, we are really gonna keep all the electrical um, uh, the, the technology down to a minimum. We're really trying to reduce the amount of draw. We're, we're factoring the people are gonna be off the grid. You'll notice that there's not the big screens, touch screens like in the Interstate GL or GT or the multiplex switching. This is gonna be your more basic switching because we really wanna keep this rudimentary and, and basic and more utility um, for your adventures. And notice even just here, there's the racking, the universal racking system that I had shown you in the back of the coach. It's even available right here, so you can put all kinds of accessories and customize it the way that, uh, that you would like. Now, I'm gonna stand up and I'm not gonna hit my head because there's nothing above my head, which is great with this cathedral ceiling up in the top of the front, but this is an important compartment above the driver's seat. And like I said, you're not gonna have that big bright screen like you have in the interstates, but these are all of the very uh, important um, uh, monitor panels for all of your appliances on board. You know, you have tank heaters. So if you're gonna go up and go snow skiing and you're gonna be in colder temperatures, you can turn on these tank heaters to keep those that water tank um, from freezing. You have your solar charger. So this is gonna be charging uh, your house batteries. What I love about this is the tech in the Mercedes portion of the van is, uh, is pretty high tech, uh, it's smart. Um, and it's, it can pull some draw. So we're actually taking one panel and charging your chassis batteries. I don't think there's very many, very many manufacturers that have gone to, to that length to uh, make sure your chassis batteries are stable. And then of course, the rest of the solar is gonna be charging your house batteries, which by the way, are battle born 100 amp hour, two lithium batteries. So it's a great battery system and, um, and you'll have that charge charging as well. Uh, we also have a generator on this coach and that is a really important function. If you're out and about and you really need to just get power generation the old fashioned way, this is a new, very quiet LP um, Onan generator. So we have the solar and the lithium, but if you're really in a hot area and you need to use that air conditioner or microwave, it's nice to have that generator on board in case you need it. This comes standard with that generator and here's the uh, the monitor for that. Your tank levels, this is important if you're off the grid, keeping an eye on how much fresh water tank you have, how full the gray and black uh, tanks are. Um, and then it'll also show you how much LP you have in your tank. If you are using your generator, you'll know how much more you've got. And then also your battery power, it'll monitor that as well. Um, we've also got uh, the power control, which will tell you how the power is coming into the, to the unit, which is important to know. Um, and then your inverter, which is going to basically invert 
your battery, which is 12 volt into the 110 outlets. We have several 110 outlets through the coach, one actually out on the patio. So you can plug in radios and computers and some things that, uh, that rely on the 110, not that 12 volt like you'd have in your cigarette lighter. So everything's in one place, which is really convenient and uh, easy to operate. Uh, there are two more things here. So we have um, lithium batteries, and if you are in cold temperature, you need to heat them. So there's a battery heater here that uh, can keep those heated. And then there's also a Wi-Fi switch. This comes with a connected antenna, and all you gotta do is add a router, and um, you have Wi-Fi. So you can generate Wi-Fi wherever you go. Now you'll notice the laminates are a lot more rustic, a little bit more cabiny. Uh, again, more of an outdoor adventure van, uh, the Interstate X is, but we still love to use the aluminum ceiling. And it's actually really good for adventures. It's been good for 90 years on our trailers. Easy to clean, it's gonna last a long time. You know, a lot of our manufacturer, or not a lot of our competitive manufacturers out there who build product in the space are gonna put some type of fabric up there and absorbs odors. It's tough to clean, it can fall off the ceiling. It doesn't wear very well. This is, this is gonna be around, it's gonna look just like this 50 years from now. We can share with you trailers that uh, are 50 years old and they look just like the day we built them. So I love that and it also is reflective so it opens it up nicely. So with that, I'm gonna start heading back into the kitchen area and I can show you uh, how this vehicle is really gonna support you on your adventures and the massive amount of storage that you'll get with the Interstate X. Okay, let's get into the meat and the potatoes of the Interstate 24X. And what I mean by that is ultimately this is a support vehicle. You're out, um, you're, you're planning your adventures, you've got your hobbies, and you're coming back to this Interstate X to get comfortable. I wanna eat, I need to use the facilities, the bathroom, the shower. I need to make sure I've got plenty of room for my food. I wanna sleep. This does everything extremely well in what is an otherwise pretty small package when you consider other RV types that are out there in the marketplace. The first area I really wanna focus on is the, the gal, what we call the galley, but this workspace is phenomenal. It is a large countertop um, offering a ton of space to work. Not only are you gonna be cooking here, but you're gonna be working here. There's plenty of space here to do lots of different things and tons of storage that I'll point out here in a bit. And in addition to the counter um, space, we actually cover the two burner cooktop um, so that you can use it as counter space when not in use. So easy to use, very easy to clean, and um, just a, a nice look. And then we also, of course, cover the sink as well. Um, Got a nice faucet here, but if you're not using the sink covered up, um, you can use it as additional workspace. Lots of storage um, overhead and in the back, we'll cover that here in a bit, but you have a microwave here. So if you do wanna cook something quick in the microwave, you can do so right here in the kitchen. Love this element of the, uh, the, the highlighted uh, red light here in the countertop, just kind of gives it that nice edge that that rugged feel, and it's also a nice nightlight at night when you don't want the overheads on. Down below, tons of storage. You'll see the netting underneath. You can put pots, pans, uh, food, um, whatever you want. And then you have drawers down here at the bottom that also offer just a tremendous amount of storage. So you're really not gonna lack that uh, any anything on this unit. You're really not compromising a whole lot. And then in addition, what a great size uh, refrigerator and dedicated freezer. On some, of, on some of our models, it's all in one. This is actually separate, um, very similar. In fact, it's the same refrigerator we use in our 24 GT. It's a tried and true refrigerator and it's all electric, which is great. A couple of advantages there, it cools quicker, it stays cool easier, it, le it uses less energy. When you're using an LP fed um, refrigerator, it actually gets so hot you have to vent it so you have a big grate on your side of your coach. You don't have to do that with this. And then to the right of it, this just massive amount of pantry space is uh, fantastic. It's adjustable shelving. You can really customize it to fit your needs. Look at these hinges. Airstream really does not take out cost um, on these areas. This is where it's really needed. This door is gonna be open and shut a lot, but there's three of them. They're all metal. Uh, versus competitors who can often put maybe one or two in their plastic. 
built Airstream tough for sure. So uh, working our way to the back. So now you, you can cook all you want. You've got place for your food. The other thing that this unit serves is a place to use the facility. So in this area is a wet bath. Um, as far as wet baths go, it's pretty big. But what a wet bath means is uh, very similar to some of the bathrooms you see in Europe where the toilet and the bathroom are all kind of one area. There's not a dedicated shower. So, um, you know, we have, it's, it's pretty easy to use. I'm a pretty tall guy, six foot three. I can make it work. It's pretty, it's pretty tight, but it is effective and it's very efficient. It's got a sink in there. Um, the shower surround is a one piece shower. So no seams that you have to caulk or potentially could leak over time. There's also a place for soap dispensing and some other things so you don't have bottles shuffling around like shampoo and, and soap and some, some other areas. So as we head to the, to the rear of the coach, you know, this is where you store your gear. This is also where you uh, sleep and it's where your guests will travel with you. So we've got, um, I believe, six seat belts back here, which is fantastic because you can take your friends with you. A couple things to consider. So this coach has an air suspension. So it's an air ride underneath the rear axle. So this is going to be really soft. The controls are up behind the driver's seat. And this is automatic. It's self-adjusting. So you, you put it in part or in drive, excuse me, and you can take off. It will do it on its own. You don't have to do anything to it. What I love about the air ride system is not only does it make, it's a commercial vehicle, remember, it makes it so much more comfortable for your guests driving in the back. But also it comes in handy when you get into some high departure angles. You can actually manually adjust it at low speeds to try to help uh, handle those departure angles. So we expect you to be going to places where you might need that. Um, this, is, uh, this is no different. Um, and then one thing that, um, I wanted to point out is our water heater and furnace is different on this unit than any other unit that we make. All of our other motorhomes, our, our Atlas, our Interstate 19s and 24s, um, they have a different um, water heater and uh, furnace. What we're doing here, this is actually a diesel fed system that actually does both the water and the heater. And it is an outstanding system. And what's nice about that is, is you're saving your LP for your generator. So if you're using the, um, either the water heater or the furnace, you're pulling right off of your, um, your fuel tank on the Sprinter, which is fantastic. You've already got that fuel tank. Uh, let's make sure you, you use that. It's got a great monitor here in the back that's easy to use. It's very intuitive. It also can double as a clock at night, but it's right in here on the inside next to the bathroom. And uh, very, uh, very, very good system and something new that we haven't had before. Um, so as we sit in the back here, there's a lot of options. I mentioned this is seating for guests. If you're going to a big game and you're going to tailgate, this is a place for gear with all kinds of custom storage solutions. Um, the benches, hideaway tables that, uh, that we talked about behind the driver's seat and outside so that you can set up tables Actually, there's two positions in the back. There's one behind the driver's seat and one outside. And it houses all of those tables back here. And then when these come together and make the largest bed in this segment in the industry. Uh, when these come together, it does. It just makes a massive bed side to side. Um, so for a, for a B van class that this falls into, having that size of bed for a tall guy like me, it's a game changer. A lot of these vans... Uh, you really compromise on the sleeping. And kind of back to my point earlier, the reason you have these vans is to support your lifestyle. You're gonna be out on the trails, you're gonna be out fishing, hiking, you're gonna be tired, you want a good night's rest. This is gonna give you plenty of room. What's nice about it though, is it's flexible. These can actually act as twins, so if you have a couple friends that are not comfortable sleeping in the same bed, um, we can do this as twins. If you're out with your partner and you wanna make it one big bed, or by yourself, you just want a big large bed, you can do that. Our designers paid a lot of attention to the foaming to make sure that it's very comfortable when you're sleeping. And, um, and clearly you've got the length to give you a ton of room. Now I mentioned, we're really trying to dial down the tech on this unit to remove a lot of the, the technology on it and try to make it as utilitarian as possible. One area we've done that is the window coverings. You'll notice some Velcro here and there's some pieces that you just just Velcro right up and it gives you tons of privacy 
if you need an app in the, in the, during the day, you put all of these up on the windows. This thing is incredibly dark and can um, uh, really get a great nap. Uh, and, then, and then lastly, I've, and I failed to mention this, but when the passengers are back here and if it is a hot day, that generator is really important because actually you can start the generator and run the rooftop air conditioning, which will keep your guests cool back here. And if you're in an area and it's really hot at night and you're trying to get some reprieve and sleep back here, the temperature is really critical. You could turn on the generator and run your air conditioner. So that's a really nice, uh, nice feature. And then this storage, uh, these, the whole storage system that we have here is just absolutely outstanding, easy to use, pops right off. You can store tons of stuff here, or you can actually take this down if you didn't want it up there. You can customize it any way you want. You can actually store things on the side here, on the side over here as well. Um, and then it's open. You know, you don't have cabinets that kind of enclose it. So although it's storage, it's not making you claustrophobic um, either. And there's even a rail in the middle here. So we can't wait to see what each of you decide to do to customize your storage packages back here. But the, the options are really unlimited in what you can do back here. Uh, one more thing I'd like to highlight, if, you, if it is at night or if you're just sitting back here after a day of adventuring, you have these little lights that will um, you can read or work from. And there's actually USB ports in here too to charge your mobile devices. So really smart and really flexible. We just don't know where you need this light. You might need this light because you're working back here on some equipment. Um, that's why we've made it so long and so flexible. So that is really what I had for you today on the Interstate 24X. We are so excited about this product. Many of you have been asking for it for, for many years and we can't wait to share this with you in person. Our dealers are gonna have demos in stock uh, when they start shipping and we've asked them to keep those so you can go in and test drive them. You can really just crawl all over them, learn everything about it. There's so much more that I didn't cover on today's video that our dealers can cover with you. For more information, go to airstream.com. We'll be loading tons of information there, but uh, thank you so much for spending your day with us and uh, I hope we can earn your business and we see you on the road soon. Thank you so much.